This video is to demonstrate and discuss about a product called Aero Bushing from Finac. 2013, we come with a Finac Aero Bushing system. The first one we introduced is the 2364 size. At close to the end of season, we come up with the 2764. Due to popular demand, we're going to add two more to it. The 25 size and the 26 size. The beauty of the Aero Bushing is that unlike other bushing which is all round, you can notice that first of all the bushing is squared from the back side. So you use minimum weight and you can see you also got cross drill holes. How light is arrow bushing? Well, I got a green scale and we can take a fast look at it. For the arrow bushing 23 size, it's barely a grain. Arrow bushing on the 25 size is nine and a half, and the 26 grain, 26 size is about 11, and finally on the 27 size is about 14 grain. So, if you use an ordinary knot, you'll be 12 grains, and the bushing with an average of 18 grain, you're easily in the 40 grain range. Since all the arrow bushing use this knot, which is the fine knot A knot, let me put it together and give you a hint of how heavy it is. The fine knot A and the bushing combined is under 12 grains. And in case for the 27 size, It's under 19 grain. So this entire unit is extremely lightweight. After a full year experiment with everything, we learned a few things with arrow bushings. First of all, let, let's show you what are the arrows it fits. Those are the arrow that fits the arrow bushing sizes. As you can see, the basically 23A, which is smallest, will fit the Black Eagle Challenger, Carbon Express 6L, and the Eastern Fat Boy. While the 25 will fit the Gold Tip X Cutter, 26 will fit the 30X, and the 27 will fit the Black Eagle and the Eastern Full Ball. Unfortunately, the 27 will not fit the Gold Tip Triple X because the wall thickness is too thick. So if the popular demands, we may have to make another a ABU 27 Gold Tip size. Okay, now, what's so special about this thing for 2000 and did we do any improvement for this for 2014? This is why we have go back to the entire pattern and refile for a few process. First of all, you notice that for the new one, we now have a longer lip right here. And the inside, there's a 45 degree reverse tapered. Now, what does it mean to an average Joe? It means from this point on, see this thing right here in the detail part? that is totally flat right here. So when this is pushed into the arrow shaft, it makes flat edge with the shaft. And there's a possibility of hitting on the very, very edge. Now for 2004 to the 2014, we improved the system now. You can see some of the newer ones that we're gonna make in the near future have a round lip right here. What does that mean is that in case of uh, an arrow, it's going to slide on top of the arrow with the shaft embedded inside this groove. Which means that this groove right here is going to protect the shaft even if it got hit right here. So we are not just talking lightweight. And then not to mention the arrow bushings are all made of 7075. And they are not just T, they are not T5, they are T7, which make them extremely strong. They are, the, they are in the strength, which is close to 86% of stainless, but only, but weigh as, as much as the 6061. Well, this will be a very, very good piece for all the 3D enthusiasts. Thank you for watching this video.